Hi, my name is Reiner Stropek from Time Cockpit, and today I want to show you uh, a sample how you can access the Time Cockpit OData feed, so Time Cockpit's web service API, from Visual Studio 2013 and C Sharp. We recently got a question from a customer who wanted to do that, and I thought I'd create a short video because it might be interesting for other people too. What you see here is a fresh new copy of Windows with Visual Studio 2013 on it. No additions, no add-ins, just plain Visual Studio 2013 update 3. If you want to follow along, use your own Visual Studio installation or you can also uh, get a fresh new copy in Microsoft Azure. Just spin up a virtual machine with Visual Studio pre-configured on it. This is what I did here. Um, and you can follow along with my sample. So. In this case, I will say create new project and we're going to create a new console application. Uh, that's fine. Name doesn't matter here. Visual Studio creates a blank console application project for us and the first thing that we have to do is we have to add a service reference pointing to Time Cockpit's OData feed. Right click on reference, add service reference and here you add the address. It's HTTPS API preview timecockpit.com slash OData. Hit go. And Visual Studio should ask you for your credentials. See? In my case, uh, I created a demo user. And I have a password of the demo user in my password keeper. Please use your personal Time Cockpit user and password for whatever reason. Visual Studio always asks me twice for user and password. I'm not sure why, but that doesn't matter. We will give Visual Studio what it wants, credentials the second time, and now it should work. Yeah, it finds the data service, and if we open that one, we see all the different entities, your personal um, data model. It should really reflect all the changes that it did to your data model. In this case, let's call it the Time Cockpit Service. Now we'll take a few seconds until Visual Studio has created the necessary service reference, the, the, the underlying C Sharp code. Uh, it will add some references to assemblies, for instance. And in a few seconds, we should be ready to go. Here we are. Service reference has been successfully added. And now we can start programming. Short program here. Um, first, let's create an instance of the service. RSVC equals new time cockpit service dot data service. It wants to have the URI, so we'll give it the URI that we specified before, API preview dot time cockpit dot com slash OData, and it is a URI kind absolute. Now we have a service. Next one is credentials. The service has to know our identity, and we uh, authenticate here using user and password. Um, to keep things sim simple here, I create a region. Um, credentials and, and say const string username equals demo at timecockpit.com. Again, please use your specific time cockpit credentials at this place. Uh, string password equals to, and I will copy the password from my password keeper again. Copy password, paste it here. And we are done. Fold this one up. Service dot credentials equals new network credential at the necessary using of system dot net. And we say username and password. Now the service knows who we are and we can start accessing our service. The first thing I want to do is I want to print a list of countries that are in my database. For that, uh, we say uh, var countries equals to svc dot app country. We could add a where clause, for instance, or do some more complex stuff like grouping and sorting and things like that. But for our um, for our purposes here, we just do the query. So we say to array, so it fetches all the countries and gives us an array of app country objects. And for that, 
can do for each country in countries and let's print country dot and you see your data model if you uh, extended your data model you should see your, here your uh, your properties and your calculated properties and all this stuff in this case I will just print out the country name and that's it it's no more complex code that's it just this four or five lines of code and if I run my application I should immediately see a list of countries that are in my database and I access this database using a web service. You see, we have five countries in our database and here they are. Well, that's nice. Uh, we can read our countries, but what if we want to add a country? Let's add, for instance, Spain. Uh, for that, we new up a new country, or Spain equals to new app country Now I will add the using to my time cockpit service and we specify the necessary um, uh, properties here. The ISO code, for instance yes, and the country name and it's Spain. We don't need to specify the GUID. Uh, every application, oh sorry, every um, object in time cockpit has a unique identifier. Here it is, it's from type GUID. We don't need to specify that if, if we add a new uh, object to our database, so we can leave that one empty. And now we can say svc.add to app country Spain, oops, sorry, Spain, and save the result save changes. That's it. That's all we have to do. Console right line, added Spain. Okay, let's try it. I run this application and it should say added Spain, right? Okay, so if we comment that one and run it again, now we should see Spain because a second ago we just added this record to the database and let's see, here it is, Spain. It was correctly inserted in our database via the, the web service API. So can we also drop data? Of course we can. Um, we have to uh, query for Spain, no problem, var Spain equals to service dot app country dot uh, first c c dot iso code equals es. We're looking for the country with the iso code es and then we can say svc.delete oops sorry delete not delete link delete object Spain and save the changes let's write console right line deleted Spain and to make sure that Spain has gone away we requery all our countries and print them again. So we should see Spain, then we should see deleted Spain, and then we should see a list of countries without Spain anymore. Let's run this. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did something wrong. Uh, here, we cannot use first here, we have to use where to ray first. And here we are, you see? Spain, deleted Spain, and the list of countries without Spain. So what you just saw here is you saw how to add a service reference to your project. You saw how to set up the connection to the data service with just two lines of C sharp code. We did some querying, we did some inserts, we did some deletes, and we did some querying again. I hope uh, you found that short video interesting and you are able to do that yourself. You add, you write interesting add-ins to Time Cockpit or automate your routine processes. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. You can find more information about this topic, of course, at Time Cockpit's online help. I never started this browser, so it takes a, a moment to spin up, sorry. Uh, here it is. You go to help.timecockpit.com. Here we see here you see our online help and here is a chapter it's called web API. You see 
all the details how you can access your uh, the, the service and the URIs and things like that and additionally you can look in our blog uh, we write quite a lot about our OData service. You just have to add OData here in the search box and you will see different articles about OData and Time Cockpit and I hope you will find answers to all your questions. If not, feel free to contact us, send us your questions. We are happy to help. Wish you a nice day. Bye. See you next time.